What's up guys? It's Laura and Jake and we are on our way to New York City for the weekend. We are meeting my cousins in New York. My one cousin lives in New York. Um, and then my other cousin, his sister, she, it, she happened to be in New York for the week and so she ended up staying over the weekend to hang out with us. So we're all meeting up in New York, which is gonna be really fun cousin trip. Jake also has a friend in New York, so we're gonna see him. We haven't seen him in a little bit since like probably our wedding. That's crazy. Did he move? Um, Had he moved by then? I don't think so, but I, I don't think like we he saw him. Like right after. Yeah, I don't think we saw him before he moved. So yeah, we're going to New York. We have about three and a half hours left. It was a four and a half hour drive. We went to my parents this morning. I literally stopped vlogging last night, so go watch the previous vlog. I didn't like show anything packing for New York or anything because I kind of just threw a bunch of shit together but go watch that vlog if you haven't yet you'll kind of get an update on my life um but yeah we dropped off the dogs because we had mochi for the week we dropped off the dogs at my parents house this morning and they were so excited to see them and then Jake did a little bit of work and then we ran some errands back where my parents live and now we're on route so we've been driving for like an hour and we are driving to New York, which we've never done before, like together. And you've probably never driven to New York. I've only had like with my parents. Usually in, um, from DC, it's like easy to take a bus or a train, but trains are, the train tickets were quite expensive and this is kind of a last minute trip. And then the bus, we just didn't feel like dealing with. But we used to go to New York like all the time when we were in, not all the time, maybe two or three times in a row. The bus basically. Uh, yeah and my parents are paying for their tools um so anyways we have we have been to new york together jake used to go a lot for work at one of his previous jobs but we used to go like every christmas it was absolutely freezing it's probably going to be quite cold this weekend as well but not as cold because it used to be freezing but yeah we're excited to go i haven't been to new york probably since me I don't think I've been since we went in college. Like, yeah, like I, I've had no reason to go to New York. Did you go with me at all? Mm -mm. I don't think I went with you once. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. No, I seriously, I don't think I've been to New York since college, which was a decade ago almost now. So we're so old. But we are going to take you guys along as fast as I can this weekend. It may be a lot of like overlay clips. I may have to do some voiceovers if it comes down to it because I'm not gonna like pop my camera out in public and be a weirdo but <laughs> um but and it, you're not weird if you do that you actually have a lot of self-confidence and I'm just lacking that clearly but yeah and then on Monday we're going to the Philadelphia Zoo because we're driving right through Philadelphia because we're like basically coming from DC going to New York so Philadelphia is on the way and the Philadelphia Zoo has hippos so that's why we're going I love hippos they took hippos away from the DC National Zoo years ago like before Jake and I even started dating and they also only had pygmy hippos but hippos are just really expensive to upkeep and they need a lot of area and unfortunately the National Zoo wanted to expand on the elephant and panda section even though the pandas are going home now we have to see the pandas before they leave the panda yeah panda we're gonna panda. do that next week while I'm off work that'll be the next vlog um but yeah the next vlog but yeah, so I'm just so excited to see my hippos. I haven't seen hippos since also call it. No, we went to the hippo aquarium two years ago. city so it's quite small but we'll take it 
we are staying right by the Brooklyn Bridge, but you can't see it from our view. <laughs> Just some other tall buildings. What's up guys? We are in New York. Surprisingly, the drive was not bad at all. I was actually really nervous about it, but we are going to go get some infused <laughs> food. This is going to be a very PG-13 or rated R um, experience. Not just this, but what we're also doing tomorrow. So um, yeah, if you're a kid, then stop watching this obviously. But we're gonna go walk um, a little over a mile, which will feel nice because we've been sitting in a car all day. And Jake very nicely drove the whole way. <laughs> um, and I was just the passenger princess, but we're gonna go pick up some food we picked up or we ordered online. And this place either had a $120 per person all you can eat where you could reserve. And if you canceled, you only got 50% back, which were notorious for canceling. So I was like, I don't want to do that. And then we saw they had pickup. So we're still spending like quite a bit on picking up the food just because it is infused. So it's more expensive, but we're going to try it out and see how we like it. And... We saw some things on TikTok about it. So yeah, I'll take you guys along. If you like this kind of stuff, then come along for the ride. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, then <laughs> you're probably too young. I don't know. Or you're like my mom and just really clueless. You're not about that life. You're not about that life, but you can be about that life when you see what a good time we have. Oh guys, we are so tired from the drive and just being up because we woke up and like did shit at my parents' house and then had a drive to come here. Um, and Jake is pretty tired from driving, but we walked to the infused restaurant and it was behind this like black awning and we could not find the entrance cause there was literally a lock on like the part that you had to enter from and it was not a normal door. So it was very, very, very well hidden. But yeah, we went to a place called Stoned Pizza. I think it might be renamed something else now, but we got the garlic. You have to pay $100. So it's basically a $100 minimum if you pick up or it's 120 per person for the experience. And once we were in the place, we definitely wanna try the experience. We were just like trying to save money cause we're doing other things this trip. Um, but we definitely would pay for the experience cause the restaurant was super, super cool. Um, but yeah, so the, the pickup portion was very, very big. I think it's definitely bigger than what you'd sit down and eat. So we got garlic knots, chicken wings, soda, and a whole pizza and they're all quite infused. So yeah, it was a really good experience. We ended up eating in the middle of the road on a random bench we found, which was pretty fun. We were going to wait for my cousins, but they were out to dinner and then they were taking forever and then they wanted to go out. And we were like, yeah, we don't really feel like going out. So um, we actually ordered more <laughs> Uber Eats because I basically just want to try everything. I didn't even try the pizza yet. I just had a few garlic knots, but I just want to try all the food here and Jake was like, we should look on Uber Eats. And of course they have like everything. And I've been craving egg. My mom made me hard boiled eggs to eat on the way here. And she made me an egg salad today. But ever since I went to the restaurant in the last vlog where I had, it was the Thai restaurant where they had these hard boiled fried eggs. They were the best thing ever. And like, I literally just want to go home and eat that. But I ended up ordering ramen and Jake said I could have his egg, so I'm gonna get lots of egg. Um, but I just really wanted an egg and I was like, ramen seems like the best option. And then I got like a dessert too, but I'm basically just trying a bunch of food um, while we're here. And I probably definitely won't eat it all, but I just am a foodie and I like trying good food. So we also walked through Chinatown on the way um, to, the infused restaurant which was quite cool and yeah we walked to like lower east side i think which is actually where my cousin lives and it's quite lively there's lots of young folks so yeah we are just in for the night because i'm so freaking tired guys, what is up it is around midnight and i'm gonna get ready to go to bed 
Tomorrow we have lots of plans because it's our only full day here. Um, but yeah, I had my ramen, which was so freaking good. And then I got this ooey gooey cookie with like white chocolate in a jar. And it was really expensive, but it was so good. And now I want to try like every flavor, but I got those both on Uber Eats and I'm full to say the least. So <laughs> yeah, I thought I would show you guys quickly what's in my little carrier pouch that I bring on me with travel since this is like a travel vlog. I thought that would be fun. I don't have very much. I also have a separate pouch with like makeup and like my hairbrush and other stuff, but this is just basically what I have. So I have a toothbrush. I have my daily contacts because I am basically blind and cannot see. I have my favorite lotion, which is the Pond's Cola Cream. It does have makeup remover, thank goodness, because I forgot makeup remover wipes. And this does work, I have used it. Um, I have my Ordinary Serum that I swear by and love. I have my CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser for normal to dry skin. I love um, the brand CeraVe. I have just a thing of Vaseline lotion. I have dry skin, if you can't tell. <laughs> and then I have my floss and my gua sha, but that is like my little products that I pack on travel on short trips obviously like when i go to thailand for three weeks i pack a lot more but i'm gonna get ready for bed jake is like already passed out he's super sore from driving that long um so yeah we're gonna go to bed and i will talk to you guys tomorrow good saturday morning we are on our way to brunch with my cousin so freaking tired from last night but ready for day two in New York. Hi guys, what is up? We are back in the hotel. So freaking tired, but we're taking a little bit of break before we go back out tonight and meet up with my cousins. But we went to brunch with my cousin and his friend, my one cousin. My cousins are like, they're siblings, but they're not like here. Like they don't live together and they're both here with like their own friends. So we went to get brunch and it was really really good i got like a croissant uh spinach feta truffle sandwich and it was so good and then the um hash browns with it were so good i also got truffle fries which were okay um and then we took the subway and we went to the museum of sex which was super fun we got tickets um like yesterday and we got the like full vip experience so it came with like a little edible and a stress ball so we each got a stress ball um and then it was pretty cool it was like the first part was like history and like reading and like a typical museum and then you go like all the way up you make your way up and then you go like watch just watch this movie and learn about carnivals and like how that was actually like carnivals like today were actually derived from like ones being sex carnivals um, obviously, as I've said before, this video is very, uh, PG-13 or rated R, whatever. Um, so don't watch this around your kids. But then they had a whole carnival section with each floor being different carnival games. And your ticket automatically came with all the carnival games. So you didn't have to pay extra or anything. And you could win so many cool prizes. And that was, like, so cool. So... They had lots of games. I won one game and won this hat. I got to choose the color. And I think this is such a funny souvenir. Jake won this other game and won this like sperm stuffed animal. And then there was, there was just so many games and you could play however many you wanted up to one time. We did one where we got like married and I have my ring in my purse, but this is Jake's ring. And then we got like a marriage certificate so yeah it was really 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 fun like the first part of the museum is just like a basic museum it was very interesting jake was literally like this is the only time i've ever seen you read at a museum because i don't love museums but then the like interactive carnival part and the fact that you can win so many things is like super super cool so highly recommend it if you're like into that stuff or just want to learn more it was a really really fun experience and then 
we actually realized there was a bar um, that was a Maryland Terrapins University of Maryland bar down the street. So we went to it. It was called Abbey Tavern, I think. And we actually saw so many people we knew there, which is crazy because we're like in New York City. Um, so yeah, we ran into a bunch of familiar faces from high school actually, but they also went to the same college as us because like 30% of our high school went to that college. But yeah, so we ran into some fam familiar faces and we watched the first half of the game and we got some food and drinks. And yeah, the game, I don't even know what's going on, but Penn State is losing and it's Penn State versus Maryland, which is a thing. But yeah, so we watched that and then we Ubered home. My feet are killing me from my Uggs. I did not think my Uggs would hurt because I usually wear Uggs in New York, but also they're like just really hot. So I think tonight I'm going to wear my Prada shoes, which are the only other shoes I brought. And I don't know how that's going to go. I'm going to have to walk kind of slow because they're like platforms, but I wanted to stop and get new shoes on the way home, but we just like weren't by any shoe stores. And yeah, so I'm gonna have to figure that out. I also forgot an eyelash curler, so I like can't do my mascara, but my um, cousin's friend is bringing me an eyelash curler tonight at dinner, so hopefully I can curl my eyelashes. But yeah, so we got a few things at the Museum of Sex and also won a bunch of things. So that was really exciting and it was a pretty good day. We're just super, super tired. Jake is like passed out right now, literally. I don't know if you can hear him. But, um, yeah, so we're gonna go out later. I'm just charging my phone and taking a break. My phone literally died because I'm, like, vlogging and getting content and taking pictures and doing the maps and ordering Ubers and everything. So, yeah, but my feet freaking hurt. And I will talk to you guys probably, hopefully, when I start getting ready to go out here in a few minutes. <laughs> to finish the vlog last night so I will update you guys what we did when we're like in the car I'm so freaking tired of walking <laughs> but we're about to go to the Brooklyn Bridge and then meet up with our friend for lunch because the marathon's today so we're gonna watch the marathon maybe but never been to the Brooklyn Bridge so here we go
Philadelphia from New York. We, I need to just do a whole recap and we're just at a gas station, but there isn't very much light right now because we were driving from New York to Philly and we'll be there in like about an hour. Um, but we're just stopping to get gas, which is why I have light. But just like a quick little recap, yesterday, it's not taking our rewards. So yesterday we did so much and I know I was terrible at vlogging and by the end of the night I was done, but I don't even remember what we did. So we went to brunch with my cousin, which was really, really good. So good. I had like a croissant sandwich and the best hash browns. The truffle fries were okay. And then we went to the Museum of Sex, which was so amazing. It was such a good experience. I think I vlogged about that. Um, it was like part museum, part carnival and games. And that was really, really fun. And then we came back, we took a little break and then we went out for, it was a dim sum restaurant. That's what it was called, but it wasn't really dim sum. It was just like Chinese food. Um, but it didn't meet me and my cousin's definition of dim sum. So I met my girl cousin for dinner and then my boy cousin for lunch. And then they went out, we went back to like, Greenwich Village and they all wanted to go out they actually were like pre-gaming and we we're like we don't feel like pre-gaming so we were also with J our friend Jake's friend and so we decided to just go bar hopping so we went to a bar and then we ended up going to Times Square because while we were going from the dim sum place which was in like upper upper New York and really north to Greenwich Village, we stopped in Times Square at the subway and I was like, damn, I wanna go to Times Square. Uh, so then we went back out to Times Square at like midnight and we walked a lot, um, took a lot of pictures. Is and my and the night just, my feet hurt. I was wearing my Prada shoes. It was not comfortable. And I just had to pass out last night. I even tried to go to bed with my makeup on and then I had to get up again and take it off because I was like, I literally can't fall asleep with my makeup on. It's just against my morals. Just go back out that way. And then... And then this morning we checked out of our hotel. We slept in a little, got late checkout because I was so tired from yesterday. And we went to the Brooklyn Bridge because we were literally staying like walking distance. So, and we have never done that. So we went and did that. And then we met our friend to like go watch the New York City Marathon, but then we didn't really watch. And I went to Daiso, which I was so happy about. And then we got ramen. And then we walked back. I said bye to my cousin. And then we walked back and now we're on our way to Philadelphia. Okay, bye. We just got my favorite restaurant in the world, which is Friendly's. And Jake didn't even know it was my favorite restaurant until tonight. But my mom knows that about me because I have lots of favorite restaurants. <laughs> Melting Pot is also a favorite, but like you should know all my favorites. No, I would And not my mom definitely knew that Friendly's was a favorite, but just got dank ice cream had the best salad of my life. Literally best chicken tender salad I could ever imagine. Um. Hello guys, I got rudely honked at when I was vlogging in the street. And I just feel like people in New Jersey are so friggin' rude. We're staying in New Jersey right outside Philly. But like also when we're driving through New Jersey, like they're the most aggressive drivers. Obviously, New Yorkers are very aggressive, but like it kind of makes sense because we are in the city. So I was like, I get it. People are stupid, but like, I don't freaking know why that guy was honking at me while I was vlogging while he was in a Dodge Charger. So not very cool of him, but we went to Friendly's. I had the best chicken tender salad of my life and I got a little ice cream thing to go called a frenzy that was birthday cake flavor I have it here but I kind of stopped eating it as one does um and yeah I was like so shook because Jake didn't know my favorite restaurant is Friendly's and he was like 
I need the story. So basically, I had my first ever panic attack in a friendlies when I was in middle school because my mom, I used to go to her with into Florida a lot and she would work during the week at the like space Kennedy Space Center because she works for NASA. And then on the weekend, we go to Disney World and we did that trip a couple of times. And one of the times I was supposed to get this mouth surgery right after and she was actually just talking about it because she has to get like mouth sur not mouth surgery but like a tooth pulled and I was like oh my god I hope you're asleep for that and she's like I'm not gonna be and I was like I wish I was asleep for my mouth surgery but like hers isn't as intense but we were literally just talking about how my first ever panic attack was in a friendlies when I was in middle school and I didn't know what was wrong with me. And obviously now I know because I have 8 million panic attacks a year. But yeah, so my mom and I were just talking about that story. And I was like, were you literally not listening? Because I love friendlies. And he was like, there's definitely one where we live in Virginia. And I was like, no, there definitely isn't. Like, they're not everywhere. And they're never been where I live. Um, so, yeah. I'm really tired. We're watching Sunday Night Football, the Bills versus the Bengals, which is a really good game. It just stopped the second half, but we are finally in Philly. Well, in New Jersey, outside of Philly. Um, I'm sorry, my New York City vlog kind of failed. I don't really know how I'm going to edit it all. Because I barely did any talking because I was so freaking busy slash tired slash busy. Um, but we were supposed to go to the Philadelphia Zoo tomorrow and I looked online and they're closed. Which is so stupid. But I guess it's like their winter hours. I honestly don't even know. So we're going to go to the Camden Aquarium, the Adventure Aquarium, which is where I went um, like a year and a half ago with my brother-in-law and Jake. I just wanted to go somewhere new to see new hippos, but we're gonna go there. And then there was a restaurant I kinda wanted to try, so maybe we'll try that tomorrow. And then we tried to go into Brooklyn tonight to get bagels before we left, cause I freaking love bagels, especially a good bagel. And it was a mess. The place we found was closed and I got out and like it was a mess and I don't know what was still going on because I know the New York City Marathon was today, but like literally all the streets were still closed at seven and like the marathon ended at five or earlier because that was like the last person ended at five and like it didn't end in Brooklyn. At least I don't think it did. So I was just like WTF, it took us forever. But once we were on the New Jersey Turnpike, it was fine. Um. So yeah, our hotel in New York was like so crappy compared to this one. This one's much nicer. It has an indoor pool, which I'm kind of sad that I didn't bring a swimsuit, but yeah, so we're just in for the night. I'm so freaking tired from New York, but we're gonna spend the day in Philly. Jake was like, had I known there weren't gonna be hippos, we could have just gone home today. And I was like, it's fine. We have our hotel. And my parents are enjoying watching Oliver. They're having the time of their life. They're posting so much on their Snapchats. Or anyone else's parents on Snapchats. Because mine are so active on Snapchat. Like, more than anyone I ever know. Um, oh, that was a good catch by Stefan Diggs. Stefan Diggs um, went to my college. And his brother went to the same high school as me, Trevon, Trayvon on the Cowboys, and Jake played with him in high school, number seven on the Cowboys, and number 14 on the Bills, so we know a lot of people in the NFL, actually, because Jake, like, played football, and he played with good people, he wasn't good, but no, I'm kidding, anyways, yeah, so we're gonna leave, we're gonna check out tomorrow, head to the aquarium, and then head to Philly just to do a few things and then we're gonna head home uh but yeah i want to show you guys my daiso daiso haul it's very small if i remember i mean i barely got anything and then that's literally all i bought in new york i didn't buy anything because we spent all our money on food 
and experiences. Um, so yeah, I didn't really, and I haven't really been in a shopping mood except for like planner stuff because I'm trying to be on a budget and like I really only need planner stuff. So yeah, but last night was crazy because we were like in Times Square and it was so crowded and I was wearing my Prada shoes and it hurt so bad by the time we Ubered home. So we went to the Times Square and then we went to get $1 pizza. And by the time we Ubered home, I was crying because my feet hurt so bad. Like, my Uggs were uncomfortable. My Prada shoes were more uncomfortable. And the shoe situation has just been terrible for me and Jake this trip, which is a tragedy. But, yeah. Anyways, I will probably talk to you guys tomorrow. Hopefully I can get more content because I feel like this vlog has been terrible, of course. Good Monday morning. We just got Philly cheesesteaks and they were so good. And now we're headed to the aquarium to go see hippos. Oh my God, babe. sweatshirt like 50 times this weekend because I severely underpacked my clothes and uh, it's been a trip so we are headed back to my parents house to pick up our beloved dog and we're currently in outside Camden we went to Camden to go to the aquarium we saw the hippos and then the feeding time was at like 1.45 and we got there at like 12 so we literally sat there the whole time but then towards the end they kind of knew it was feeding time and they got up and they were much more active so it was so worth it. They fed them lettuce and I don't think I've ever seen them, um, I don't think I've ever seen them, can you turn off your turn signal? Thanks. I don't think I've ever seen them get fed except when I went on the Wild Africa track in Disney's Animal Kingdom. Both those hippos are from Animal Kingdom, so they were calling them Disney royalty, which is funny. And they were so cute. Um, and then one of them was playing with a tire, which I've never seen. So it was just really cute. And we just got our little Starbies from the drive through. I've been getting my Starbucks every day on this trip. What? Are you waiting for me to go? No, I just have been craving. I literally have been craving egg. Like I can't stop eating egg. It's a muffin. Hello guys, we are finally home. We picked up Oliver. He was not that excited to see us. He has a very secure attachment, which is good because our last dog, Maisie, had the most insecure attachment ever and it killed me inside. Um, but he's very securely attached, so that's good. But he had a blast at my parents with their puppy, Mochi. Uh, we got Shake Shack with my grandfather just to have a quick dinner with them. And now we're home and we're just going to watch Monday Night Football. And tomorrow is voting day. Jake technically has the day off but he actually has some very important things going on tomorrow for his job, so he doesn't really have a day off, but we are going to vote, and then we do have tickets to go to the Maryland basketball game tomorrow. It's the season opener, so we have season tickets, so we are planning to go to that with Jake's dad, my father-in-law, but yeah, hopefully I can get more on top of vlogging. I kind of want to plan but I also just want to spend my time with my lovely dog. Um, but yeah, just really happy we're home. I'm gonna have to do laundry and clean and everything, but honestly, that's tomorrow's problem at this point. Hello guys, happy Tuesday. I'm so freaking tired. It's already nighttime and I've honestly, don't know the last time I was this tired. Maybe when I went to Disney World, who knows, but I'm a sleepy girl. We just took Ollie out and we voted. Um, Jake went in to vote and then I went in to vote and he waited outside, obviously. 
um, but he looks really cute with his little vote sticker. So yeah, we just voted. It's voting day in Virginia here. Um, whatever freaking day it is. I think it's like November 7th. I'm so tired. We have um, season tickets to the Mar University of Maryland basketball games this year because we're like more a basketball school than a football school. And the first game is tonight. And I'm so tired, but I don't. Jake's brother can't go, and then I just, like, it's kind of too late to ask someone else to go, so I feel like I have to go, but I'm so freaking tired. Um, I think I'm going to need a lot of caffeine before we get there. <sighs> so, yeah, we're going to the game, which kind of sucks because I'm so tired, but it's fine. I didn't want Jake to, like, have to sit alone. My father-in-law is also going, but he's, like, going with his friend, so I don't really know his friend has way better seats than we do um this is the same friend that like gets us in the football suite so like obviously they're way better they're like almost at the court and ours are like in the 200 level so obviously if his friend is going he's gonna sit with him and I feel bad if Jake sits alone so yeah I'm also wearing the same thing as last night and oh all I did last night was take a bath and Jake like rubbed lotion all over me because I was so freaking tired like my whole body just ached from New York <laughs> so I took the first bath I haven't taken a bath since before my wedding the night before my wedding at my parents house because at our last apartment we didn't have a really good bathtub and this one is it's still not like good but it's much deeper so it was actually a really, really nice bath. So I thoroughly enjoyed that last night. I haven't taken a bath in so long and I'm definitely gonna start doing those again because just the relaxation and calmness I felt from that was amazing. So yeah, I'm really tired. We have to leave in less than 30 minutes and I'm just sitting here contemplating life, but that's the vibe. Hopefully tomorrow I can do more planning and be more happy and energetic, but I'm really dead today <laughs> from that New York trip that I barely vlogged. We are at the gas station on our way into University of Maryland. Got my Starbucks because I have literally never been so grumpy in my life. I'm so tired. But this guy's dealing with it, so. <laughs> went shopping ollie we'll do the haul bit that you were part of first here let's turn you around come on ollie okay so at home goods which is where we went first we got a menorah a new menorah it was only 15 bucks it's silver it's really like classic so we got that and then we got Ollie a little Santa hat. We'll try it on. I kind of already tried it on, but I want to, I found this Christmas card I like on Shutterfly and I want to take Ollie's picture with a Santa hat for it. Sue, so, yes. Okay. 
Look at that. Ollie, look. Wow. It's so cute on you. Okay. And then we got a Coke because I'm a Coke addict. Coca-Cola, not Coke. <laughs> and then we got these balls at checkout because they light up and we're always looking for a good light up ball. Do you see Ollie? Yeah. I need scissors. Beer B. Okay. No, I have them right here. So we're always looking for a good light up ball and um oh, why are these so hard to open? And I saw these at checkout. Here, Ollie, let me take this off you. And they light up. Look! He loves balls and since it gets dark at freaking 3 p.m. now, we need a good light up ball. Yeah, so we got a white and blue. They're almost like they're Hanukkah themes, but I don't think they are. So we got those. And then from PetSmart, we went to PetSmart. Ah! This is crazy. This is crazy. So from PetSmart, we got, oh, we also got these from Home Goods. Just the classic Hanukkah candle. So from PetSmart, we got this. They literally had this toy and like the, this other toy and this toy as a soft version, like this one kind of, and that was it for Hanukkah, but this is the Happy Hanukkah. I think Mochi will like this and she is uh, celebrating Hanukkah with us because we're going to have her for six weeks while my parents are in Thailand and then we got a dreidel, just a classic. It also squeaks. <laughs> Okay, and then we got some cookies for the doggos. So it was buy three, get the fourth free, but it was on toys or treats, not toys and treats. So I was trying to get the fourth free, but then it wasn't, but I was like, whatever. I'm still going to get it. So I got a snowman and a gingerbread man, and these are going to be for some holiday stuff so that is what we got at home goods and pet smart then i just went into trader joe's and i got two of these these are my favorite freaking snack right at the moment they're the crunchy curls tasty lentil potato snack they're so good so i did get two because i'm an addict I got this card because it was only 99 cents for my cousin because um, my parents are visiting my cousins in Thailand. So I wanted to just send them a little card with the gifts I got them. And it says, own your girl power, which I feel like they'll love. Um, I got my favorite cheese because I wanted to try these crackers, pita bite crackers with sea salt. I saw these recommended on TikTok, so I'm going to eat those together. I got Jake. I don't know if he'll like these, but they're the seasoned kettle chips, flavor of the classic holiday dish in each potato chip. Do you like stuffing? Okay. Well, I got these for him because he likes the, like, Thanksgiving-y foods. And then I got us each bagels because we like different bagels. I got the sesame for me. And the plane for him. And I literally looked everywhere for cream cheese and couldn't find any and didn't feel like asking anyone. So it is what it is. I got strawberry lemonade because I'm a juicy girl. And then we got some stuff for Ollie. So we got the beef recipe rolls. You want to try this? They're really big, but. Oh, those are really big. Uh you can try a little bit what do you think golly so these are the beef recipe rolls i don't care babe you can just leave it there because i'm gonna add my egg just leave it there because i want ollie to be annoying thank you i love you are you eating yeah. okay i love you. love you we got the salmon and sweet potato recipe dog treats which i swear to god i got these last time and then i couldn't find them after so I still wanted Ollie to try these. He is on a salmon diet and he loves sweet potato. So those are those. And then we got the beef recipe jerky strips. Let's just see. 
which looked like these. Have a little. He's so spoiled. Um, so yeah, I like to get him those treats because they're really cheap. I got these for either Thanksgiving or my cousins in Thailand. They are milk chocolate coins of the world. They were like literally a dollar. But they remind me of guilt for Hanukkah. And then I got the orange chicken because this is actually pretty good. To me, orange chicken is not a Chinese dish. Like they don't have that in China. So I just eat the crappy kind because real orange chicken doesn't exist. Um, five bags of these because this is my favorite thing. I talk about it in my vlogs, but I take out most of the sauce because they provide way too much sauce. But these are literally my favorite. Uh, okay, so they're gonna have to just go right there. And then I got us each a pizza. I love this one, the roasted garlic and pesto pizza. I tried it last week, it was really, really good. And then I got Jake the uncured pepperoni pizza. I got him a different flavor last week, but he didn't want it. So, because it had onions. I think it was the barbecue one. And then I got this, because I felt like this would be a really good football watching thing. Jake, are you still here? Mm -hmm. Oh. So this is the five cheese Greek spiral with Gouda, Cassery. I don't know how to say all those cheeses, but doesn't that look freaking good? So I thought that would be a cute little football watching thing. And then... The last thing I got for Jake, which I feel like he'll love these. I actually should show him these. Jake, come here. They're the Kahlua pork spring rolls. I also saw these on TikTok. I like them. Oh, you don't like these? No, we've tried them and you don't like them. Oh, well, I got them for you. Uh, I mean, I'll eat it. Thanks. I saw them on TikTok and was like, those look good. So that is literally everything we got. And yeah. Okay, I'm um, gonna put stuff away and talk to you guys. Jake made me this, I don't know what it is. It's like yakitori or something. It's a dollar at Aldi and like $4 at 7-Eleven, but it's so good and I'm gonna add some egg on it. But I'm gonna put away my groceries while I talk to you guys because I feel like this vlog is just lacking in substance. So I'm gonna, need to clean out my fridge a little. Um, my mom made Ollie this whole thing of sweet potatoes. Come here. She literally spoils him. Okay. So, we still have a bunch of shit. But basically today I had an interview and then they were like, oh, we're not hiring for the title that I have. They're hiring for a different title and it literally says that on my resume. So I was just like annoyed because that's like the second or third time that has happened. So I was just like really freaking annoyed and literally just slept all day because I was in such a bad mood because of that. Um, and then, what else did I do? So then we just ran our errands because Jake had to finish work. And my mom made Ollie so many sweet potatoes. I have to give them to him before they go bad, too. Okay. This is the last refrigerated item. But, yeah, so basically, once Jake was done with work, we went to run those errands. I forgot to kind of vlog because I'm like just dead at the moment. But 
now I'm vlogging to make up for it. And Jake is running errands for a while. So, should be a good time. Ollie's not eating the sweet potatoes now, of course. Oh, this is what he makes. Of course, he leaves all the trash out. It's the Yaki Soba. This is what he makes. It's so freaking good. I'm going to go eat this and watch some YouTube. And then I think I'm actually going to sit down and plan because I have time for once and I don't have a job right now. So I have free time. I've literally been on an egg kick, like such an egg kick. And my mom hard boiled me all these eggs for me because I'm so lazy. I don't even feel like hard boiling eggs. I'm just gonna break up the egg. She even knows how I like my egg because she makes it more raw for her and my dad, but I like mine really hard boiled for some reason. I don't know why. Cause like all my meats and stuff I like as raw as possible, but oh yeah, baby. <laughs> I believe this is my first time in here on this vlog, which is kind of crazy. I don't remember though. Um. But yeah, it is Wednesday night. I feel like this has been a very long journey of a vlog, but I'm gonna do my base of my Halloween week, which has been a journey. I have the pink tie-dye Panahanna SPC collab, which is really cute. And then I have the Correct Press Booze and Bats kit. And then I have excess pink tie-dye. And then I'm not using the Zoo kit because Zoo was closed. So I think I might do the Clove Cafe. I don't know, but I'm going to put this here because I get to use this one which I wanted to use maybe I'll use that it depends on how many extenders actually actually no it doesn't because I have both bougie boxes so I'm between Cloak Cafe and August 2023 mystery from Pink Diamond Planner Co which was pastel fall and then we have Thanksgiving I'm actually <clears throat> I'm actually also going to a football game next week. We're going to the Bengals versus Ravens, which is going to be cray cray. Okay, so I'm going to put some of this stuff in. So I have this kit Christmas morning for the week of December 11th through 17th. I'm going to take this out and then I'm pairing with that. Actually... It might be over here. Hi, Ollie. I have a ginormous crest press order. Wait. Where did that foil go? What the heck? Okay, well, I don't know where that went, but I also have the Jingle Bells. Oh, it's right, it's it's already in here. I'm an idiot. So I'm using the Pixie Rose um, Gingerbread Foil Bundle from Planahan and SPC for that. So that's that. And then I have Groovy Christmas from Caress Press for the week of December 18th through the 24th. So last week I was like talking through all this and now all the kits came. Um, and then, okay, I'm taking this out because this is confusing because I'm pretty sure 
Wait, when is Hanukkah? Hanukkah is this week. Okay, so yeah. And then I have the groovy uh, foil from Planner Choco in Gold Hollow. I also already have an SPC foil bundle in here. I don't know if I'm going to use that, but. And then I just got this kit yesterday, um, the, ex the Christmas and New Year's Eve kit. And then I'm going to just throw in this Jingle Balls Rose foil bundle because I don't really know what the stitch is there and then I have to haul all this stuff which is the rest of the stuff so yeah um let's see I want to okay let's put some of these freebies where I think they will match like I'm putting this gold pixie bundle with my clove cafe one this is in red pixie red which i'm not really using anything with pixie red so i don't know if i'll use that I can bring this gold one in with this gold hollow spread maybe silver i'm also not using which is kind of crazy i can pull these gold ones in with this um, let's see, and then I have this Pokemon foil bundle, which I'm going to put with my Pokemon kit, which is right here. I have no idea when I'm going to use that. And then... Yeah, that's pretty much that. I don't think I can use the rest of this stuff. Okay, and I also have these monthlies that I need to film still. I need to put this kit back in my kit collection, which I bought all these overlays from Planna Hannah to go with it. And now I'm not using it. And I've done that with like three kits for the week of New York. And it's just, it's just not happening. So yeah, I'm just putting this back. I even have this in my kit lineup, which still hasn't even gone live. I'm going to put it live for Friday. This will be live by the time you guys see this, obviously. But, um, okay. I'm gonna keep all that together. Okay. What is this foil? This looks like, I don't know. I don't know why I have so many of these foil bundles, but okay. So I just cleaned up my desk a little, which is nice. And I did my kit lineup, so um, yeah, I'm gonna put that away. And then I'm going to film my base. I think I might also film a haul clip. Actually, I probably won't, cause actually I kind of want to, because then I can get put some of my stickers away. But I also, oh my gosh, the week of Halloween is in November. I don't like that. <laughs> Ugh, I don't like that. Okay, whatever. Um, yeah, my planner is really like on its last ed edges. I need to pick out a new planner for next year. And I have no idea what I'm going to use. But yeah, so um, I guess next week then I'll have... Hopefully this vlog go live if I can get it filmed and then the groovy goals kit. But I'm just like, I don't know. I feel like I'm like so behind on my planning even though I'm not. And I feel like my October spreads were so good and I just like didn't even soak it all in. But I do need to also film my monthlies. The last monthly I filmed was July, which went live. So I need to do 
August, September, and October, and I want to catch up on that before. Maybe I'll do it as like Glammas, because I think that's what I did last year. Okay, I thought I heard someone come in, and I'm home alone. I'm very terrified of things like that. But yeah, I will be back. Okay guys, I realize I've worn this sweatshirt like three days in a row, but I literally only wear it at night. And I'm sorry if you think that's gross, but I am who I am. So I just did my base. Look at how pretty it is. I'm like literally obsessed with the pink tie-dye. So Jake went to go pick up something from his friend in DC. He actually picked me up a he picked himself up a new monitor from his <laughs> from his gaming friends and then he picked me up a softbox light because basically the place he used to work at as like a gaming company is like closing um like the team is shutting down so he just they just have a bunch of stuff that they're giving away to people and Jake is like has always helped them with a lot of stuff and so they're like giving a bunch of it to Jake because they're nice so we're getting a bunch of cool stuff from them um I mean just like literally the monitor and the light softbox which Jake said he got for me to help me film but I'm like I don't know We'll see if it's that much better. He always tells me like, oh, I got you this really good thing. And then it's not that good. So I don't really know what to expect. But that is that. I am going to go downstairs. I literally thought someone came into our house and I was so scared. And I hid up here and Ollie actually went down and checked and was like barking. And then... I don't think anyone's here because he came back up and has been chill since. But I'm like, wow, you actually are a guard dog. Look at you. And I uploaded two videos. I uploaded my... Um, I uploaded my November kit lineup to go up on this Friday, which will be up when you guys see this video. And and I uploaded my Groovy Goals kit, which will also be live by the time this vlog goes up. I'm going to try and get this vlog edited to go up next week as well. But who knows what will happen. Um, but yeah. So the Big Brother finale is tomorrow. I have the episode from last night to watch because we were at the basketball game. But I think it's just like getting messages from home. It's usually a pretty boring episode. Um, so Jake was just telling me to like watch that without him. So I might go put that on even though he'll be home real soon. But yeah, I'm just going to go chill. And then I think Jake is gaming more later so then I'll probably come up back here and do some more stuffs but yeah that's the plan okay Jake just got home and wants me to do a blind haul of what he got at Giant which is our preferred grocery store cherry kool-aid Janners tropical punch which is my fave it's two for seven, it's two for seven. French onion dip. Ooh, Philadelphia strawberry. Cream cheese to go with the bagels because I could not find cream cheese. Now I want a bagel. Not whipped. I asked for whipped. Ooh, Starbucks <laughs> espresso and cream. I love coffee. Ooh, is it, so this is all for me. Thanks, babe. Gatorade Frost <laughs> Riptide Rush. Such a big Gatorade person. And of course, the classic Lido pizza sauce. 
Wow, what a haul, babe. Hello, guys. I'm back in my study. Jake came home, got me those cute groceries. <laughs> um, I've just been watching YouTube. I just pulled the stickers for the booze and bat spread, which I'll probably film tomorrow because I need to off put some footage off my phone. <sighs> it's been so annoying. Um, but yeah, I'm still obsessed with this base. And then I think I might actually pull stickers for my August and September monthlies just because I think it might be easier. I just got a sticker stuck on my planner. <laughs> um, I think it just might be easier to film that way because I do have to pull out so many characters. I literally can't get this off. Okay. Um, so I think I might pull those. And I have a Carly Plans order somewhere and I lost it. I feel like I always lose my Carly Plans orders. Yeah, I'm gonna pre-plan my August. I already wrote it down, which is nice. So I'm gonna pre-plan that. Um, yeah, I'm basically just waiting for Jake to be done gaming. And then we'll probably walk on. I pulled all my stickers for my monthlies and we are gonna walk Ollie soon for the night and tomorrow will be the last day of the vlog. I don't know if I'll vlog again. I might take a break just because I feel like my life is really boring right now. But I got an order from Kristen's planner. It kind of took a while to ship. I got some freebies. These are cute. I asked for Tara's and then this was the custom football quotes, which is really cute. I'm going to use this for um, the game day spread for the first week of December. I got this in pumpkin just because I love the touchdowns in turkey box for my... Thanksgiving spread and then this I'm going to use with my pastel fall kit um, that I am now planning on using so I'm excited for that and then what else I'm going to just stick that back in I also got this I thought this foil bundle was probably the cutest football foil I have seen. I just got it in her black shiny. Someone messaged me and recommended that, but I just thought this was so cute. So this is the first page. And then I asked for like the commanders, which is really cute. The Washington. I need to also see it myself, but I literally have so many football. Oh, I love this script. It's really cute. Um, I have so many football kits to use now or foil and not enough kits. So I'm going to have to decide, but I think I'm going to mix this with the Alicia Craft foil I have and then some silver just for some shine maybe. And then from Crafts Press, this to me was the best kit of the year this lunar new year art i mean i'm obviously like obsessed with it but um i got every fashion box with the kidders these people which i just love the different the very different looks with those fashion people this tall box i got the red washi because i do have a gold foil bundle and i thought that would look good with it i have the old um, Lunar New Year foil bundle from Caress Press, but this is just so good. Sadie Piper's designs and Caress Press killed this. Like, it's so good. I did have someone reach out to me and ask, like, my thoughts on if it's appropriation to, like, use these kits and you're, like, not celebrating Lunar New Year. Um, because I think in some of my videos I have talked about how I don't like to use like Cinco de Mayo kits specifically um but personally to me 
Maggie is an AAPI. I don't know Sadie, I don't know what Sadie Pepper Designs looks like, but this was all Maggie's idea. And like, I assume she did the whole mood board. It's like, I, like most of these things on here are like Chinese delicacies or good luck things and stuff like that. So like, I can tell it was done by someone who knew. Whereas like, I do feel like, and I think Sadie Piper did do the Cinco de Mayo art. I just personally heard from people who were Mexican and who celebrate Cinco de Mayo culturally that like using taco or overlays and just throwing tacos into kill in a kit and like that the the all of that is just like where it's cultural appropriation. So to me this is not um because I think it was a really well done kit and I feel like if it was like white people dressed in the in that um in these outfits and like it would just be a whole different vibe so if it was like all fortune cookies and like panda express but i do i can't speak on like the cinco de mayo holiday obviously because i don't celebrate um but i was just spreading the word that people had spread to me but someone did reach out and ask about like using this kit and i fully 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 think people should use this kit and the person who reached out to me also said, and I don't want to like call her out or anything, so I'm not going to say her name. He's playing Valorant. Um, but I also think, and she pointed this out, that like you are spending money on this kit, which like is going to a small business AAPI shop, which is like a really good thing and a really nice thing. Whereas like if you're just buying a Cinco de Mayo kit from like literally any shop that is like just like a normal white person or whatever like then that's kind of like you're making money off the holiday that you don't celebrate but i do feel like this is just really well done and would love to throw my money at maggie for coming out with this and doing an amazing job with this so definitely hope to see a lot of people using this in their planner this year don't think it's cultural appropriation and i think it's really well done unless of course you use like fortune cookie underlays like there's always like, you know, but I feel like we're all learning and growing and some people are privileged enough to like live under a rock and so they have more to learn and like I'm here to help. So yeah, I appreciate DMs like that and I make sure to always respond to my DMs so feel free to reach out. I also got this kit because someone had told me this would be a really good alternative Hanukkah kit. So I'm excited for this. Um, there's a bunch of stuff in the back and I'm really leaning into the blue uh, because Hanukkah. So I think, um, so I did, not I think. I bought mid blue foil from Plan of Hannah and then I also bought sapphire blue from Plan With Me stickers. So I don't have samples of either of these shops. I should just really bite, bite the bullet and buy them because I lost my Plan With Me stickers ones. Erica always provides them, but I lost those and then... I just never got the Plan of Hannah ones, so um, yeah, I'm just like winging it, and if they're two different blues, I'm just going to make a choice on one. I have literally bought so much foil lately and stickers, and I'm like, wait, what? Mainly foil, and I'm like, wait, I have like eight billion options for this one kit now, and then I just got my two monthlies, but... That is, I'm going to haul these later. I need to also find my Carly plans order. Um, but yeah, I feel like I actually got a lot done today. And I do, good boy, you ate some of your food. I do feel like, what am I saying? I do need to wrap my cousin's presents. Look at these. I got these from Target last week. Aren't they cute? Um, I have a bunch of presents for my cousins uh, in Thailand that my parents are going to go see. And I need to wrap some of their presents. I think I'm going to melt this from Fantasy Wax. Pistachio, Amaretta, Vanilla, Ganache. I need to move my wax melter in here though. I'm gonna do that. Okay, I desperately need to clean our whole house, but 
I'm basically filling this with small treats. I have a hippo jar with nice big treats. And then I just empty all these other treats. These are from a bark box. And then I just give them. It's just easier. There's nothing left of that. These were from his 420 box. They're just hilarious. Okay. And then I just bought these, so I'm gonna empty these. I just bought these from Trader Joe's. Also need to update our calendar because it's a new month. We have a bunch of verbal requests because it is Thanksgiving. We actually started Rover last Thanksgiving, which is funny. We actually started around this time. We started before Thanksgiving. Up. Hi guys, happy freaking Thursday. Um, we just picked Ollie, or I just picked Ollie up from his grooming appointment, and he's looking so handsome. He was looking so shaggy and gross after my parents' house, so I scheduled him a grooming appointment. And yeah, he's looking really good, but um, just still living that fun employment life. This drive to the grooming place and back has been so long because the traffic in the DMV sucks and it's like 3.30 right now, so I've just been in the car for like an hour just trying to get back and forth with this grooming place um but yeah we're probably gonna take it easy tonight um jake has D, &D as usual the big brother finale is on tonight which is like a crime that it's on the same night as thursday night football but hopefully the thursday night football game isn't that good because i'm gonna have to see who wins big brother obviously um but yeah it's also so pretty right now with the leaves like it's prime fall over here and I just could never live somewhere where the seasons don't change so yeah I'm getting a call BRB hi guys so we've just been chilling at home taking it easy today we have been trying to install our new curtains we bought we bought custom curtains because this window is like a custom size and a custom rod and everything and we spent so much money on it all and now we can't get it up so my parents are coming Saturday and they are gonna help us because I can't do this anymore I called my mom Jake called my dad first and my dad was like telling him what was wrong and then Jake went out to Home Depot to try and forget the thing that was wrong and then I called my mom and she's like just do it Saturday with us I was like I was trying not to be annoying to you guys but okay so and then my dad texted jake separately because jake's out right now and was like just do it saturday so now jake has to get new paper blinds because i'm not living like this with our living room exposed say hi ali um because i threw away our old paper blinds but yeah i'm just so tired and bored and unemployment literally sucks i don't even know why i'm looking at the fridge do you ever just get bored and look at the fridge um yeah that is the dealio i'm hiding in my bedroom until jake gets back because i don't like creepy people looking in on me just made this dang pizza it is the roasted garlic and pesto pizza 
and it's so good and i'm watching the big brother finale i was actually so busy busy editing this vlog that i forgot i thought it was at nine but it's at eight which is just like so early but at least i can watch football after um but i'm literally crying at what is happening like i really really want matt to win and the second part or the third hoh just happened so now yeah i'm not gonna spoil it all because i don't know how slowly some people watch these things but i'm literally dying over here sorry i'm cutting my pizza so good okay bye This, I kid you not, is the world's best pizza from Trader Joe's. The best H Mart finds. These are so good. He literally got me this new light that he said is hundreds of dollars for like really cheap from the job he used to work at because they're like companies closing. And it's just so dramatic and like I don't even think it's better and we're like trying to play with it. But I'm like, this is so big. Like... I don't think you guys can tell how big and unnecessary this light is. <laughs> That's better. Hi guys, I'm going to end the vlog soon, but Jake set up this new light, and oh my god, you can like literally see the foil reflecting. I just gave Ollie a big old trachea bone to gnaw on um, while I film, but it's kind of loud, so now I have to wait for him to be done, because <laughs> it's really loud. Um, but yeah, I am just about to film this booze and bats kit i actually want to take a few videos and stuff of the base because i haven't been on top of that lately but yeah so sorry if you can hear jake he is playing D, &D but when he plays D, D, he also games simultaneously it's like a whole thing so anyways i also got some orders from um, Planet Hannah and Pink Diamond Planner Co. So I think this is the New York City kit that I'm no longer going to use. Yeah, which I'm not using anymore. So don't know what I'm gonna do with that. And then I have two Planet Hannah orders. I have this first one. Uh, which has the foil that I was going to use and just like some other foil with that kit. And then I have my second order, which is the new foil I wanted to use. I actually should haul this and some Hanukkah stuff. I should haul this uh, because I need to put some of the stuff in this spread. But yeah. I've just been editing the vlog and I just want to get some of this footage done and um, yeah, I will probably end the vlog when I'm done filming here.